What's going on and welcome back to the channel. I am Lady Nika and with, um, this is not a Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, review. I still have not watched last night, but I was down on the YouTube and I've seen some clips about what went on last night. Um, I'm going to watch the full episode probably in the next couple of minutes or something, but as I told you yesterday, I'm not feeling my best, so I, I really just shut down yesterday and... I wasn't going to come in today at all, but I felt like I had some shit to say. Because, see, it was a part of what happened last night that I saw in a clip that kind of got me to feel in some kind of way. So, while I got a, a little bit of energy, I said, why not spend it with this ignorant ass hoe called Kim Zoziac? Now, here's my issue with Kim. I don't understand why she here. I really don't. I am so disappointed in season 10 because my mind was these girls is going to come back. This, this, the, you know, this is a big season, 10 years, and they're going to give us all the drama and with viable storylines, and it was going to be a good season. So far, this has been some bullshit, and I'm sick of this girl. Now, Anybody that lives in the South know that we have bugs, okay? You could be the cleanest hoe. You could be Mr. Clean type of clean. But bugs will sometimes get in your house unexpectedly, especially if you live anywhere near like a woody or, you know, forestry type of area, you will see a bug or two. That don't mean that she's not cleaning her house. And when Charade... Uh, bone carrying stupid ass called this hoe and told her that Nene, you know, told her what Nene had said about her having all of these illnesses. Which, where's the lie? Where's the lie in that? If you've been a staunch Real Housewives of Atlanta supporter like I have, you remember every single time these girls wanted to do something, that bitch always had an issue with going she always came up with excuse after excuse after excuse and i used to feel like if she gonna do all of that why the fuck ain't she just care her ass? why is she on the show what's she here for if she can't participate in shit so we all know that she didn't go to barcelona really because of the fact that it's a girl's trip and croy couldn't come now if you want croy with you all the time bitch so that says a lot about you. Is it that you know you so fucking messy that some shit could pop off at any time and you might need his ass to help you get your great escape away from these girls? Mm. But I'm sick of this woman because she come on this show and she's trying to... Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, Nene Big Amazon built ass is not one of my faves. Nowhere near it. But what I don't like is when a bitch throw a lie out there uh, on you because she mad because you spoke truth about her. I can't stand no shit like that. And it lets you know how messy her ass is because if she did not believe that those were bugs in this in this woman's house and that she wasn't trying to embarrass her at some point, why she kept the footage? Why didn't she get on her daughter's ass about it? That's some messy shit. I wish this wig wearing bitch would care her ass. And I know I wear a wig too, but bitch, at least my shit look good. This old crater face bitch, I am so fucking sick of Kim. I don't know why she here. What is she here for? You come on this show, I don't know what you here for, and you start shit with these women for no apparent reason. Bitch, what is your problem? Why is you here again? And that, let's just not, uh, I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't have issues with this woman and, and feel like she's somewhat racist because I do. And the reason why I say she's racist is because you see she get on here and she cut a fool with these black girls. Go over there and don't be tardy for the party. She don't get down like this. I don't know who that new producer is that's her friend. But uh, y'all need to be going back and trying to kiss a little bit of uh. Uh, Carlos King asks because I would rather have him producing the show and, and doing what it is that he do because this girl here, she'll make you lose viewership. There's nothing about Kim that's entertaining whatsoever. Ne she jealous of Nene. 
Because if we go back in Real Housewives of Atlanta archives, we do see that. Let's let's go back, bitch. Let's go back. When this show first started, Kim was that it girl. Mm-hmm. She was the one who had the coin. Not because she had done anything great, but because she was fucking Big Papa. And Big Papa was lying in her pockets. You feel me? And I don't, I ain't never had no problem with that because, you know, get money, bitch, get money, bitch. But I got a problem with the fact that you upset because Nene has busted her ass over the last 10 years. And she may not be what any of us consider elevated to where she's beyond a D-list celebrity. But Nene has done some things and she has earned money and she's come up. And I think that Kim is jealous of the fact that she ain't that it girl no more. And that's sad, bitch. That's sad when you can't stand to see another woman rise because you want to be that top bitch at all times. No, girl, that ain't how life go. The dog, the sunshine on a dog ass at some point, okay? I just don't get this bitch. Why is she here? And you know... She ain't really, you know, she not up and up because nobody else has their husband around them all the time for body card purposes but her. So my question is, why is she here? Why was she brought back on the show? She was not nowhere needed. I would rather see Marlo get money, bitch. Hampton be on this show more than I, I, I don't need to see uh, Kim. I, I, I don't need to see Kim at all. Kim is so unnecessary, and all she bring is drama, and Sheree, bitch, you trying so hard to hold on to that peach you got, you gonna fuck around and lose your blessing, or as somebody had told me, next year that bitch will be on Love After Lock Up with Tyrone, if he ever see the light of day, cause I, 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 I don't think he out yet. Says a lot about you, baby, when you old as fuck, a lesbian in hiding, and you on here being messy, carrying bones to this here backwoods back a bitch. And then this bitch act like she's so much better, like she's such a perfect and happy bitch. Any bitch that's got to convince you that she happy by saying it all the time is a miserable soul. She's mad because Nene did the work, and now... She can't shine on Nene as much as she used to when she was that it girl. Girl, let's not act like you just always had this life of luxury. You had luxury in your life when you started laying up, doing what you had a history of doing. Because let us not forget back in the day, back in her hometown, she, girl, this is a bit, this is a hoe from, a throwback hoe. This a throwback hoe. This hoe used to, this hoe been on the whole store for a long damn time. And I don't knock a hoe because, uh, you know, a hoe as a person too. My thing is if you're going to be a hoe, be that. But don't sit there and try to throw salt on somebody else's game because they actually worked hard for what the hell they got. Every piece of success Kim ever had in her life came by way of her laying on her damn back. Girl, you need to be quiet in the words. A uh, 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 lady may green leaf. A woman's strength sometimes lie in her motherfucking silence. And that's what this girl here needs to learn. She needs to stop being jealous of these women who have uh, come up. It's namely Nene. And stop trying to put lies out on people. And you wonder why Nene don't like your ass and drag your ass for filth all the time. That was an ugly ass lie. Then you trying to make it think. First of all, bitch, I think you're jealous. Like I said, you always had to lay on your back to be successful. To look like you miss Hollywood in Atlanta. You always had to. You been hoeing since you was a teenager. Back in your hometown when you laid up with the sheriff in your um area. He got caught and busted. Mm, okay, true T, look it up. This a trifling ass bitch, and just those few little clips pissed me off. I had to dig up some energy to come through and ask the question, Bravo, why is Kim here? 
Send that bitch back to that damn near dead show she got and get her off of these Real Housewives of Atlanta because we don't need her at all. She don't bring nothing to the show. The bitch ain't funny. She not creative. She don't blend in well. She don't blend. She sticks out like a sore thumb. She really does with that stiff ass face. So my question is, why is Kim Zosiak here? Did we need to see her in any capacity on season 10 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? And um, on my opinion, the answer is not no, but hell to no. Fuck that hoe. i oh, try to make this woman seem like she less damn because she had a bug in her damn house. Somebody she need to worry about cleaning her house. Bitch, you clean yours. You still around that treating sweetie like a, a slave from, from way back? Hmm. Child, I don't understand why she was here. I don't. I don't know why she... She has been since not needed on this show. And I thought that was a really messed up ass thing for you to take something so small and try to blow it up because you mad because a bitch called you out on your shit. And at that point in time, according to what I have heard, she wasn't even really talking shit about you. She just said you always got an excuse for not coming. It was your guilt over the lies that have come out your mouth over the years that convicted you to come up with a lie like what you came up with. Now, I don't know how these ladies responded to it because, like I said, I ain't seen the episode yet. But you ain't shit, bitch. You really ain't shit. You need to take that Dixie red-ass cup, them bad-ass wig, that stiff-ass face, and that bama backer ass husband of yours and go right back to wherever it is you be at when you do don't be tardy for the party. That struggle ass show. I can't stand that bitch. I can't stand her ass. And again, Bravo TV. Andy. All y'all fuckers over there at Bravo. Why is this hoe here? If you want to get us a token white girl on the show, go find somebody else because this girl ain't going to work. She ain't going to work. But that's all I wanted to come in. I had a little rant on. It, it, it made me mad. I can't stand this bitch. And she don't do anything but cause problems, confusion, chaos. She's so unneeded. Bitch ain't even in Barcelona and starting shit. Just an awful ass bitch. Mm, mm, mm. In the words of, of another YouTuber. I guess it really ain't safe in a world full of fuck bitches. Y'all remember the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Share this video where it is you share videos. And I will return, if not today, y'all, I'll return tomorrow. Child, I'm tired already. But I just had to get that off my chest. I can't stand Kim Zoe. I ain't never liked it to see a bad wig wearing bitch. For real. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.